Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney. That's me. I'm here today to show you how to use custom backgrounds in the Jamboard web app found at jamboard.google.com. And yes, it's finally here. When we look at backgrounds, we can now add an image to our uh, Jamboard as a background that's not going to move. It's not going to do anything. So we click on that and look at the options we have. We can upload. We can do it from the camera, from our webcam. How nice is that? Google Image Search, Google Drive, and Google Photos. One thing missing I wish we had by URL, but okay. Let me just upload one real quick. I'll click Upload. And I will click a little image right there I have. That's Gritty. And so now Gritty, that image, is the background. I can use my Select tool and... Nope, can't grab it because it's the background. There's nothing I can do. Now, as we go and we create other frames, unfortunately, we can't just apply right to all. Um, so if I go here and now I go to set background, um, I would have to do it from scratch, which is something I'm not that excited about. But I could always go back to frame one and then right here and click duplicate. And now I would just, you know, maybe on frame two, get rid of this and put something else, whatever it may be. So that is custom backgrounds. It, this is so exciting. It's so nice. And like I said, it locks in place. Nothing moves. There's nothing to resize or anything. It is just there. If you have any questions about this, please comment below or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.